Hi everyone. Welcome to this episode of Kevin and Tina KT Go in Taiwan and Thailand. This is episode eight. Tina and I depart Xinjing and we go to Taichung. Welcome to Taichung, Taiwan. Taichung is modern, cultural, and historic. It is Taiwan's second largest metropolitan and most populated city. Taichung is also home to the National Taichung Theater. It's modern theater of Taichung. As you can see from the outside, it boosts with a wonderful modern architecture and operatic performances and theater and dance and classical performances. Tina and I visited one of the universities in Taiwan, and it, it is located in Taichung. The university is called Tonghai University. Tonghai University is a private Methodist university, or known as the Christian University, and is the and is Taiwan's second oldest university in the country. You heard that correctly. Located in Shaitung District of Taichung. The university has a consortium of nine colleges. That's right, nine colleges. One of the colleges I got to see was the music department, and I also got to see the athletics area, uh, the library. Uh, Tina and I also went to their, I would believe, is their international uh, area of the university, which is which has the international flags. I believe it was the international building or the international. Uh, there was some type of international college there. Tang Ha University is home to why we actually went there, and this is the reason why we went to Tang Ha University. It's home to the Luce, I think it's Luce or Luce Memorial Chapel. It is on the grounds of the university. Luce Memorial Chapel is one of the top local attractions and landmarks to visit because of its architecture and Christian influence in Taiwan. Luce Chapel, Luce Memorial Chapel, as you can see, that has the cathedral-like look in the inside. Tina and myself did did miss attending church service at Luce Memorial Chapel. If we got there. Oh, I don't know, like around 10 or 11 o'clock, we would have made the, the morning service, but we didn't get a chance to as, as you can see. Welcome to Fengjia Night Market. This is Taiwan's largest night market. The food is to die for. See for yourself. It's basically um, kind of like Peking duck. It's basically duck inside. Uh -huh. And then the, uh, the, uh, the sweet sauce, uh -huh. and then bread on the outside. So it's duck and bread. Basically, that's what Peking duck is. At the Fengjian Night Market, we Tina and myself had fried tofu, a Taiwanese pork burrito, a, a boba drink, which was very tasty, 
and many other foods and beverages we also had, uh, just to name a few. Benji at Night Market has a lot of shopping areas, entertainment areas, mostly shopping and, and food vendors. And it was really cool to, to walk around and see what, what uh, this wonderful night market has. Taichung has temples, museums, a gateway to the mountainous areas of Taiwan, such as Sun Moon Lake and Xinjing Farm, an airport gateway through Taichung International Airport, and a Taiwan Country Gateway via Taiwan High Speed Rail at the Taichung High Speed Rail Station. There's also bus transportation, like I said, bike transportation. Uh, in order to get to the Taichung High Speed Rail Station, uh, there's, there's bus transportation. And I do believe there's an Uber. I, I heard there's an Uber in the area. <laughs> Yummy dinner, the time has come for Tina and me to go back to Taipei. The Xinjing Taichung trip was a was actually a getaway trip for Tina and myself. We wanted to escape from the hustle and bustle of the city just to not only see the sheep sheeps and the sheep farm, but we also wanted just to relax and get away for a few days and and relax. We booked ourselves onto the business class to Taipei on the Taiwan High Speed Rail.